hot topics, knowledge being spread. It's like warm butter across the bread. Smooth, I know you like that. Flow with the grain and don't fight that. You want right to love, you found the right match. With Marty McFly, they on the right track. Yeah, gotta dig the dirt to plant the seed. Spread roots till you sprout like a tree. Danny Jones, see the one you wanna see. Danny Jones live, this is what you wanna be. It's Danny Jones live, Danny Jones live. Welcome to Donnie Jones Live. I am Donnie the Tree Lady. Welcome, welcome, yes, yes, welcome. Yes, yes, yes. You know, I, I, you just started it off right before we got in, so I got to say it now. When your tree falls, you know who to call. Yep, Don's Tree Service. Yeah, we got to get it out this mug. Thank you. Yes. So if you're in the Atlanta area, call us at 770-413-8733. That's 770-413-TREE. But right now... We're yes. going to have a real conversation, We're me and Marty. Conversation. Yes, yes, this is me, that guy, Marty McFly. And yeah, if your tree has fallen and you need somebody to come get it, or if you got somebody that you don't like and you need a tree to fall on their house, give us a call. You know, she'll, yeah. work, she'll work it out. I'll work it out. And you know what else? If you have a small business or you have something you need to promote or you just want to get some pictures taken, I'm talking about the legit pictures. I ain't talking about no stuff for a well, little well, new well, deal. Well, if check but, is good, if check is good, as <laughs> long as it's legal age, I see like yes, that. Check yes, is good. I, yes. You know what? I'm being honest. Look up Vast Productions is what I was going to say. Vast have a Productions. Problem, problem with that. You know, you know what's funny though? What's that? It's, it's throughout my career. I, you know, if you don't know, I do. I've done production for over twenty something years. Yep. And it's actually only one time that I decided not to do take a client on. And what's that? Would that you? was actually I did it, but I felt kind of bad because I heard it on the radio. Yes. And it was one of the adult <clears throat> adult shops. Oh yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah. it was like, do you, do you like those fun toys at night? Yeah. You know, and it was like I heard myself yeah. on the radio one time yeah. doing that, and it was just like, I don't, I don't, I don't, don't want to do that. Right. Yeah, you I know, don't. Even though my voice and mm -hmm. you know me is two different people, but just, yeah, you don't want your voice being used for sin. Well, you could use it for sin if it's good, <laughs> but just. I don't want to feel nasty afterwards. Oh, know? my goodness. Oh, my goodness. I just want to feel bad, not I nasty. I hear you. I hear you. Well, I thought about you over the last couple of days because for those of you that are joining us for the first time, yes, me and Marty have been together for a while and... Um, Working relationship. Working, working. working we yes, both we're, we are two different. We people. are married to two different people, but yep. you know, I would say he's like a little brother or an annoying cousin, and so he jokes <laughs> with me about some of the extracurricular things that I do, and yes. I just had a trip with my family. Oh yeah, and uh, oh, yeah. yeah. Um, uh, just so you know, it was paid back in December. It's paid for back in <laughs> November, December. I'm just letting you know. So. Um, <laughs> Inside joke. And so uh, we, we went there and uh, went to Montana. You go? You went to Montana? Yes. Oh, wow. I have never and, been um, to. No, I haven't been to Montana. Yeah, Montana. And uh, what was going on in Montana? My daughter has friends out there. And um, what's she doing with friends in Montana? Well, she went to this leadership academy and she became friends um, with a couple guys out there that what? happen to <laughs> live in Montana. So, <laughs> that is, you, whatever. This sounds like the beginning of a bang chicken wing. No, she, no, no, she, no. Good, honest, wholesome friends. Okay, and they just that don't they don't get down like that. They're just good, honest, wholesome kids, and so they wanted to get together and do some skiing. And so, I'm a little curvy. I was put it like that. I'm not as experienced. Yeah. I'll put it like that. And so, I thought I was ready to 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 do some skiing and. uh Wait a minute. You, I hurt myself, you, and I'm in pain right now as we speak. But wait, wait, Donna, you okay? You went, you went to Montana and you went skiing. Mm -hmm. What makes you think that you okay? Well, what? all right, and, and I take it you didn't do well. Do November, you? December, end of November, we got the tickets. I'm just like, no, I'm, okay, <laughs> okay, gotcha. <laughs> I, no, I'm just surprised that you went to Montana going skiing. I'm saying not too many. No, none but of my that, friends, okay. none of my friends that I That's know. That's what I'm trying to say because he teases me about this stuff. Yeah, and you came back hurt. Black right? folks don't do that, but that's not true. My daughter is African American, and she skis. well, your daughter's and mixed, so, right? What? Just I just want to make sure you because 
That, that, you got to throw that in there. If you're gonna if you're gonna talk about it, you got to throw it out. You got to put all the cards on the table. Talking about you know African Americans, they say we don't do it, but my daughter did it. Well, yeah, but technically, <laughs> technically, I'm just saying. You know, she okay. got a half a card. Say- <laughs> she got a half a card. So you know what I'm saying. But but I, well, let me say this though. But my husband does ski extremely well. Well, and she skis extremely but now well. Your husband, but what isn't black, right? Just. See, I can understand that he. So see what I mean, I can guys. See, I can see he can he can skate really good. He can so, skate really good. Your so, daughter can ski kind of good, and you just fail. I fail exactly. That explains I fail. the whole thing. It does. Are you fully black? She mixed. <laughs> and he's. I'm saying. I'm just saying. You know, just just putting it out so, there. The reason why I'm bringing this up is uh-huh. because you ever have a friend of yours and you know how they're going to react to something, so you just don't say nothing about yeah. it? Uh-huh. So yeah. two weeks ago when this happened over the weekend, because we was just in and out, and it was so funny because they were like, you're leaving so soon. I was like, well, you know, yeah. so someone's got to get back to work. And so, um, yeah, I've been in pain. But I didn't say anything to you because I knew you were going to say something about the fact that Yes. You, As a whole, we don't ski. necessarily ski, but that's once again, I'm gonna say that that's not true. And I did see how many, how many, how many other people of color did you see out there? There was a gentleman of Indian descent that was okay, there. No, no, there no, no, no wait, 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 wait. That was there skiing, not working. Skiing. You know what? No, I'm just saying. That is not <laughs> fair. You bring that up. That were working. That was skiing. No, they there. were skiing. They were skiing. They were actually skiing you there. So Indian and the. You said an Asian family. An Asian yeah, family. Yeah, well, I guess Indian is Asian, but Did you know, you see yeah. Anybody from like Atlanta that was per- pe- person of color. I saw me color. when I walked past the any, mirror. Okay, well, anybody me. from like an African descent, you know? Did you see I any was of? Probably them? South African. <laughs> Yeah, so that answers the whole thing. So, yeah. So, but I'm saying that I've been in all this pain, and I share pretty much everything with you. You guys, we're like brother and sister. So, we are. Whenever stuff is going in, it's going on, I share it with him. And, um, she didn't share this one. I didn't share this one. Yeah. So, yeah. Not even the trip. Where'd you go anyway? Uh, we went two weeks ago. Okay. You didn't even tell me about this in two for two. You kept two weeks. I, I, I was like, I can't, I can't say anything to him. Yeah. He's mm-hmm. first yeah. of all, I'm dealing with some stuff. And it's <laughs> no, it's all good. It, it, it didn't seem congruent. As, Once again, uh-huh. inside these, some of these jokes are inside y'all. No, so. no, no, no. It's all, it's all good. Just yeah, we'll talk off air. Yeah, we're gonna talk off air <laughs> about that. But what's going on with you, man? No, I just, you know, I, I just got shocked with something that. You know, sometimes I use words or, or or things that I'm just used to saying, and, and I'm just catching everybody up. A few minutes ago, me and Donnie was talking about, you know, right now we're in the season of Lent. Yes. And one of the things that I've, I'm giving up, you know, in, in Lent you give up certain things. Yes. And one of my challenges, I said I was going to give up coffee. Yes. And, and I explained that, you know, for my substitute, you know, I've been, <clears throat> and I said it like this, I've been drinking like an onion tea. Okay, and Donnie just went off. She was like, you can't because- have onion tea. There's no such thing as an onion tea. And I'm like, well, w- what I do is, you know, I explain it. I, I-, I use a- a one of the vegetable bouillons and I mm-hmm. uh, uh, chop up some little pieces of onion mm-hmm. and I put it in a cup and I- mm-hmm. then I heat it up and I make a little mm-hmm. cup of tea that soup. I call tea. He makes a cup of soup. So she's and- arguing me up and down. That the proper way of saying this, she even called her daughter and we had some other people That's come right. in and say, okay, well, it's it, soup. It, it, but at the end of the day, it's something that I do. It's my own. I substitute. like it though. I like, but you it's know, really it's, good it's, for you. Right. It's really good. And I'm enjoying it. Yes. You know, even if I call it a tea versus a soup. I just, okay. It just, you know, just, you ever have a situation I don't know the difference. Where... I'm saying, I don't know what, what the big, big difference is if I visualize you... it as a nice little if you go to a restaurant and ask for tea, they're right. gonna give you hot water with some tea leaves. What if I want cold tea? Okay, you can saying. have cold tea. Okay. But what I'm saying is that okay, you know how somebody they might pronounce something wrong and they've been doing it for a long time, but then you hear them say it, right? And you correct them because you don't want them to right. be embarrassed or something like that, right? The reason why I corrected you is because everything you were describing. 
was the tea that you get when you go to, you know, hibachi restaurants or Asian restaurants. Wait, you, said, you just said the tea that I get, right? The, oh, my. Let's see the Bruh, soup that you, you get. You, just you know that? what? It, did just because you, just you got that? me messed up. You just said No. That. It is the that, that, soup that, that you get. You just it's said that. because you messed with me, because you messed up my, my okay. skilo. Yeah. So you, you messed me up. But anyway, it is called soup. It's soup. You know what? Don't take my word for it. You know what? We love to engage with our audience. Mm -hmm. If you think it's tea, call us. If you think it's soup, call us. I want you to call 1-888-349-DONNIE. That's 1-888-349-3664. And I want you to tell us if that little bouillon liquid... With a little bit of onions cut up in it at the hibachi restaurant, if that's called soup or is that called tea? tea. But, I want you to I, let I, me know. And I'm okay with and it. I'm going to count how many people call and say soup, and I'm going to count just, how many. If any of y'all call in and say tea, I'm just going to be done. anybody call in. My, 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 my question is this. If, yeah. if you had just like some hot, I guess, tomato juice. Yes. Um, like a V8. You know, that's a, that's a drink, right? I'm just asking. That that's that's just like a regular drink, right? I'm getting mad sitting here. Go well, ahead. I'm just asking. You know, mm -hmm. and if you put that that same V8 in a hot bowl, would it be tomato soup then? Yes. But it was just the V8, just regular drink a second ago. So it, it matters if no, you put it in something different. No, because the V8 is very similar to soup. So. It's, okay, you know what? I take that back. It's just gonna be a V8 <laughs> heated up. A, yeah, okay. You was, you nobody, was right. nobody does this. Nobody, like, there's nobody on the planet that calls that tea. Nobody. Probably me. Okay. okay. Well, anyway, guys, we have a great show this week. We're really excited. I, you know, I have so no much. idea what we're going to talk about, but we have some current events that uh, we're going to talk about in the next we segment. We got a little bit then, of everything. Entrepreneurship, yeah. uh, some yep. things that it's like, you know, what do you do in the midst of the storm? Yes. You know, especially in your business. What do you do in the midst of the storm? So we're going to talk about that because we Ooh, all have. We are in the midst. Of the storm. Ooh, we always get into that storm, but yes. it's a part of business. So it you're is. listening to Donnie Jones Live with Donnie Jones, which is sponsored by Don's, Don's Tree, Tree Service, Service and Marty McFly. Yep, yep. And we will be right back. Yeah. It's Donnie Jones Live. Donnie Jones Live. It's Donnie Jones Live. Donnie Jones Live. It's Donnie Jones Live. Donnie Jones Live. Now when the weather starts to change, the rent to start to fall, who you gonna call? Don Tree Service. If it's looking kind of weak and it's looking kind of bleak, who a tree specialist call? Don Tree Service. If the trees in your yard are just too tall, who you gonna call? Don Tree Service. Hey everybody, it's me, Wanda Smith, and I'm here with some great information. I don't know if you know, but it's hurricane season, and it's a great time for you to think about having trees removed before one fall on your home. That's something you don't want to happen. Listen, I called Don's Tree Service on a Monday. They were here in just a few days. The price was right, the staff was right, and I'm happy with everything they've done. So hey, if I were you, I would sit down with my family and talk about having trees removed before the hurricane comes and hit your home. If you want more information about your trees, call Don's Tree Service, 770-413-8733. That's 770-413-TREE. You know, one of the things that frustrates me to no end is when I call a company and as soon as it picks up, it says, please hold. And your approximate hold time is four to five to ten minutes. It frustrates me because I need some help. But then I was wondering about when we get on our knees and pray, does the spiritual angel kind of picks up and says, I hear your prayer, but please hold for the operator. And it might take you four or five days or four or five months. But knowing that the operator will pick up and handle your problem. I think in those times, God is trying to tell us to just hold on for the blessing. Hi, I'm Pastor Marty Ringer, and I'd like to invite you to join us each and every Sunday morning at St. Mark Lutheran Church. Now, you might not be in the East Point or the Atlanta area, but you can always go online at stmarklutheranchurch.org and check out any of our services. I would love to just spread the good news of Christ to you. If you're here in the Atlanta area, our address is 
4137 Washington Road in East Point, right down from the Atlanta Airport. And if you're not around the ATL, you can always log on at stmarklutheranchurch.org. And there you can be a part of any of our worship services. But at the end of the day, I want to make sure that you understand this one message. God is trying to tell you to hold on until your blessing comes. And may God's grace and peace be with you. Hey, this is Donnie the Tree Lady, owner of Don's Tree Service. And as a small business owner, I get asked all the time, how did you do it? Now, for those of you that don't know, I basically started a tree service with $43 and a dream right here in beautiful Atlanta, Georgia. Now, during my journey, I've definitely been blessed to see the mountaintop, but I've also been in some rough valleys. And in my book, From Failure to Fabulous, I share my experience. My book really is a real woman's journey to building a happy, healthy, and successful life. But I gotta be honest with you, I read self-help books and I listened to audio programs about success and I was still having difficulty achieving success in my life until I really got a hold of certain principles that made a difference. In my book, From Failure to Fabulous, I get very real and raw about what I did to build my company, my family, and my life. So please go check out my book, From Failure to Fabulous, on Amazon, or you can go to my website, www.donniejoneslive.com. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back to Donnie Jones Live with me, Donnie the Tree Lady. Mm. And that guy, Marty McFly, that is loving his energy drink right now. You know, I'm going to have to hide this because honestly, well, I'm going to You know what? Me and Otis, they they, they, they give me wings today. So I I just. just, We'll leave uh, it at that. Yeah. No, the reason why I'm thinking about I want to hide it is because I was told point blank by somebody that I care about that that stuff is not good for you. It's really not good. I didn't say that. It was somebody else. Oh. I mean, I care about you too, but it was somebody else that I care about that said, hey, that. you know what? Yeah, a lot of times with that kind of stuff, and I and I'll be honest with you, they'll say this week, you know, this is bad for you. Yeah. And then you find out like two weeks later, like, well, that's it. Really wasn't that bad for you, but well, it's this, this, this. Because they'll say coffee is bad for you. Then a few weeks later, you find out that it's good. Yeah. Or they'll say that the most important breakfast, being the most important meal of the day, is breakfast, and you find out later, not really, not no. necessarily. And breakfast. It depends. I think another people don't. Another thing people don't understand. <laughs> is a lot of times, it's. But it just failed. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> He's having a hard time keeping it up. But um, <laughs> so, <laughs> so yeah, you 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 have to think about each individual person is different. But one thing I will say, I've got this weird quirk in my brain where I recognize patterns. Mm. You know, I don't know what you call it. it. I don't know if it comes from weirdness. That, I'm just throwing out questions. Okay, so it may come from ADD or something like that. I don't know, mm-hmm. but I notice patterns. And I've noticed them since I was a kid. Like, I can just kind of recognize when something's going to be a thing, right? Uh-huh. So I know this pattern in our country where companies come out with this thing and they say it's going to be great for you. And then I see all this mad rush of people using it. And it's usually something that's not natural or not healthy. Right. And I always say, you know what, within three to five years, they're going to come out and tell you this thing causes cancer. Right. Sometimes it actually takes 10 years, you know, or longer, mm-hmm. but it always happens. Like, it, like crazy stuff. Like I remember back in the day, you know, when my family, you know, you want to make sure you're fresh and all that kind of stuff. Well, I just felt like, like if you take a shower and kept everything tight and clean, you're good, right? But a lot of the women like to use Johnson & Johnson. Uh-huh. Well, there was a part of our brain that was like, that stuff can't be good for you. I don't know why, I just knew. Sure enough, the stuff causes cancer, right? Then we went through a phase where they were talking about, you know, it doesn't matter whether you drink tap water, bottled water, all that kind of stuff, you know? Yeah. And I was like, well, no, I can taste the difference. You know, I was like, clean water tastes different from tap water. Then all of a sudden the studies come out, you know, telling you that there's a lot of chemicals and stuff in our water. I mean, oh, yeah. Well, when Splenda became like a big thing, mm-hmm. you know, people putting all these artificial flavors in, I was like, this just doesn't seem like it's good for you, especially... You know, because people are trying to substitute it for something that is natural, which is sugar, even though too much sugar is not good for you. I was like, why not just cut back on the sugar as opposed to loading up on Splenda? Guess what they came out with this week? What's that? Splenda causes cancer. Oh, boy, I had to throw my And guess who is one of the makers? I believe it. Now, don't sue me if I'm wrong. Mm -hmm. Um, 
Johnson and Johnson is the maker of Splendor. I can believe that. Yeah, and my thing I'm is, not that it's all true, the, but I can believe it. Yeah. yeah, but my thing is that if we just get back to the basics, get back to even the stuff that's natural, even things like stuff that a lot of people like to participate in is way better for you than a lot of the pharmaceutical drugs that they have out on the market. Oh, you, know. you know what I mean? It's way healthier for you. It's way, you know, it, it's, I mean, I don't partake, but I'm you saying. Know, you know, there's a lot of things that I would say. But it's, it's a, better it's a, for it's you. A, it's a double-edged sword. Some things I think is better for you. Some things are, are worse, you know, but then you learn later on. You know, it, it's. I don't want to go the wrong wrong no, direction here. Go ahead, go, go. Because that's why I wanted to talk about was well, patterns. Go ahead. Well, no. Uh, well, I, I learned at an early age. One of my um, health teachers mm -hmm. told me at an early age, you know, and, and I don't know why this kind of stuck to me the most, but they were saying, you know, a lot of the things that uh, are female counterparts in a sense, they say a lot of that stuff isn't healthy that they're using. Exactly. You know, they yeah. like and, and and keep in mind, young man, certain places don't supposed to smell like roses. Preach. <laughs> but also, <laughs> they're not so, it don't like supposed. You, to, it don't supposed to smell like anything. And if right. it does, that means something is kind of wrong. That's how, red flag. That's you know, what I was just, taught. Just yeah. I was taught if you got to put something on to cover up. Uh, yeah. Then, something. Something wrong. Yeah, something's something wrong. That's your body wrong. telling you something's it, it wrong. Like potpourri. Something wrong. Right. Something just. The, just you just, better preach because they're covering up the smell yeah, of something, something else, else that's rotten in yeah, there yeah. are going bad. And, and we're trying, by the way, guys, we're trying to be sensitive because we know we're uh, some of the stations that we're on are. Yeah. You know, yep. Yep. Yeah. I got grown men listening. So they, we want to make there sure you that, go. Yeah. Exactly. So, but it's like that with so many things in yeah. life, you know, mm -hmm. like this, this whole thing with obesity. When they first started coming out with this body positive, fat positive thing, I was going, wait a minute. We have I don't always know known that there's positive fat. Th thank you. It's, it's, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't believe so, in that. But if you got people going around, they, they, they ankles rolled over and swollen. You know what I'm saying? They yeah, can't and it's walk not up gout. You know I'm saying it, it's not like you know. It's just that's just your leg. Just something, something wrong. Something that ain't God there. That ain't Jesus. You know what I'm just saying. Just, no. Oh, <laughs> I'm dude. sorry. And they, dude, they be killing me because they be like, God made me this way. No. No. Like, no. No, God didn't, 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 make, didn't make, make you like that. that, that, that. that. Yeah. No. That's a quarter pound of with cheese. Yeah. That's, yeah. That's, that's, that he didn't make that. <laughs> so I'm like, I saw that when that's the first started coming big a few years ago. Uh -huh. And I was like, man, this is not healthy. And yeah. so now we're starting to get news reports about how obesity is a major problem. And I'm like, well, we've known we've that. Always known we've that. known that. But they went through a phase and they're still going through a phase where they're trying to make it like, oh, it's it's healthy. It's, a, it's, okay. it's okay. It's no big deal. You know, and I think that's a, a part of our society to try to make people comfortable at where they're at. You know, like the sizes of clothes. Yeah. You know, instead of people getting smaller, they just make the sizes larger. Right, you right. Know, to make you feel better. Well, they do that with, they may, I don't know if they do this with men's clothing, but like, for example, I've lost a certain amount of weight, right? Mm -hmm. um, still have some more to go, but I was looking at my jeans, and I know what a size 10 looks like right. from back in the day when I used to be in retail, when uh -huh. they actually used real sizes. So, you know, I'm feeling good and stuff like that. I put these jeans on, and I'm like, ooh, I can wear a 10 now. And this little voice in my head was like, now you know that ain't really a 10. That's a 12 all day long. Uh -huh. But the tag, but here's the crazy thing. Uh -huh. I know better, uh -huh. and I still fell for it. I was like, Girl, I'm bad. What size you wear, girl? I wear a size 10. No, you know? you, yeah. No, come on. Come on. Exactly. Really? Try going on to Macy's and getting a regular pair of jeans that ain't mm -hmm. one of the designer ones in a size 10. Yeah, you know what? That's you, why. You, uh, you, you going to be, why, your feelings going to be hurt. To a certain degree, I like it's African shops. Vanity shops. Size it. You know, Dude, they hurt your feelings. Well, you know, I don't know because they have this mixture. I went in there last week because I was trying to get some stuff. It was last Sunday yeah. for African, I mean, for Black History Month. Yeah. And I was trying to get me an outfit, but... They got this thing where it says open size. Oh, really? Yeah. It's just, if you can fit it, it's open. It's open. You know, it's okay. Just, but it's one of those things where it's no size fit all. Well, I can't say all size not fit the women, but it's, Some it's, of the dresses, though, I can see them because they do, you know, a, a lot of African stores do appeal to, you know, women curves and stuff. Big, but larger the, women, yeah. Oh yeah, they do. God. But I'm saying it's, it's in their culture. They're, but, they, larger women are sexy to them but, over there. Yeah, but some of the um, 
the yes. like the little tunic shirts or whatever they call it, the little the shorter shirts. Uh-huh. They come in the small, medium, and large, right? Mm-hmm. So in there, I'm thinking, oh, I probably wear you know a medium or a large or whatever. So I took the large <laughs> out, and the guy behind the this was like right down uh, you know, off Ralph David Abernathy. I take it off the uh, the rack, and I'm looking at it. He go, oh. You can't fit that. You, you can't fit that. You need a larger size. It's more woman there. More woman. Like, oh, that's that's that's, that's more, wrong. More woman, more that's size. Wrong. I was like, you just want to look at. No one ain't telling the truth, but you want to look the at her. <laughs> but she like, you ain't gotta say that. You ain't you ain't gotta say that. No, no, you don't need yes. to look at that. But guess what he showed me? He showed me the dresses, like you said, uh-huh. that are like these big puffy things. Yeah. Oh, you can fit that. You, you know can fit that. That's you a big sheet. You can fit that there. <laughs> yeah, you big girl. No, that's not cool. <laughs> you know, it's funny. Like, certain hospitality things is, is not as... It doesn't go over the same way, yeah. you know, because yeah. because like I guess McDonald's up here has this thing now. They keep saying, well, you know, we'll see you tomorrow. Yeah. You know, and I don't... It's cool, but like certain places, you don't want to see them tomorrow. You don't want to see them. I don't. I don't. I don't, I don't in a row. Certain certain places, like you don't want the person at the liquor store saying the same thing. No, you know, when you no. buy something like we'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, like, what, what you trying to say? Because <laughs> you, know, you are alcohol. I, I, what, what you trying to say? You ain't gonna. I'm a. You definitely ain't gonna see me tomorrow here. Right, right. You I'm might go see to me the on the weekend. Down, no, no. I'm gonna go to the other one. But <laughs> the, I, but I don't. I don't. But I'm just saying, sometimes that hospitality, yeah. them being nice, saying, no, girl, you can't fit that. Yeah, you, you, no. too, you too big for no, that. No, it's woman. You, it's yeah, woman you got that's too much body. Yeah, nah, <laughs> so uh-uh. It's like, okay. But I'm anyway, cool with it. Anyway, let's... But anywho, going back to patterns, man. I just yes. see a lot of patterns that, to me, seem obvious to us, yes. as a, to me, in our society. And I don't understand, on a serious note, why yes. we don't look at these patterns and go, this isn't working. Well, you know, you know what? It's interesting because, and I'll tell you why. It's a little bit deeper than what you, than the surface level. Okay. All right. We are all stuck in our pattern. Yeah. Right? Because we all have a certain kind of curl pattern. Think yeah. about your hair. Yeah. It's a certain curl pattern that has been there for, for so long mm-hmm. that we as individuals deal with that same kind of curve, um, curl, curl pattern. pattern. You yeah. know, even if you look at your day to day life, even me, I'll go through a, a pattern of one season. I'm ready to work out all the time. Yeah. Yeah. You How's know? it going with the working out? I'm, I'm in a different okay. pattern right okay. now. Go ahead. You know, <laughs> <laughs> I'm in a different pattern, you know, and then by the summertime, you know, you get into just different patterns. It might yeah. be more of an entrepreneurial type yeah. things that I want to do. Yeah. And then it'll be like another or pattern. Spiritual or spiritual, something. Yeah. Right. Um, we all kind of go through those same kind of phases. Mm-hmm. Um, it's in our patterns. Yeah. Um, even with like society, like you were saying, one minute we're really, really healthy yeah. about um, what was it, the Impossible Burger of a couple yeah. of years ago. Dude, you know, I was big on that. Yeah. Those things are not that good for you. They're so, so, not healthy. Going to a pattern. And, like, yeah. That's what I was just saying and a little while ago. And I was while ago. get you on those. And I that's like, what I was just saying. Last week, one thing is healthy. Yeah. And then the next week, yeah. well, it's not too healthy no more. But, but, why, but going back goes, to what I was saying about noticing patterns, uh-huh. now this was one because I let somebody convince me, and I still am convinced that eating less meat is better for you, but they were like, you know, if you're going to have a burger, have an impossible burger. But there was still a part of me that's like, but that was still made in a lab. So there's still got to be something in there that's not necessarily healthy for you. You know, why not just eat? If you're going to eat it, just eat the meat, which is an animal. And so I... I realize now my instincts were telling me something's not 100% right with this. Uh-huh. And now the news is that letting me know. But anyway, burger but thing, patterns, thing, yeah. break the pattern, y'all. I know the but pattern your curl right pattern, now, whatever. Take a pattern break We're going to take whatever. a break. All right. Yep. You're listening to Donnie Jones Live. I am Donnie the Tree Lady. And I am the impossible Marty Ringer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be right back. Love it. Now when the weather starts to change, the rent to start to fall, who you gonna call? Tree if it's looking kind of weak and it's looking kind of bleak, who a tree specialist call? Tree if the trees in your yard are just too tall, who you gonna call? Tree hey everybody, it's me, Wanda Smith, and I'm here with some great information. I don't know if you know, but it's hurricane season, and it's a great time for you to think about having trees removed before one fall on your home. That's something you don't want to happen. Listen, I called Don's Tree Service. 
on a Monday, they were here in just a few days. The price was right, the staff was right, and I'm happy with everything they've done. So hey, if I were you, I would sit down with my family and talk about having trees removed before the hurricane comes and hit your home. If you want more information about your trees, call Don's Tree Service, 770-413-8733. That's 770-413-TREE. You know, one of the things that frustrates me to no end is when I call a company and as soon as it picks up, it says, please hold. And your approximate hold time is four to five to ten minutes. It frustrates me because I need some help. But then I was wondering about when we get on our knees and pray, does the spiritual angel kind of picks up and says, I hear your prayer, but please hold for the operator. And it might take you four or five days, or four or five months. But knowing that the operator will pick up and handle your problem. I think in those times, God is trying to tell us to just hold on for the blessing. Hi, I'm Pastor Marty Ringer, and I'd like to invite you to join us each and every Sunday morning at St. Mark Lutheran Church. Now, you might not be in the East Point or the Atlanta area, but you can always go online at stmarklutheranchurch.org and check out any of our services. I would love to just spread the good news of Christ to you. If you're here in the Atlanta area, our address is 4137 Washington Road in East Point, right down from the Atlanta airport. And if you're not around the ATL, you can always log on at stmarklutheranchurch.org. And there you can be a part of any of our worship services. But at the end of the day, I want to make sure that you understand this one message. God is trying to tell you to hold on until your blessing comes. And may God's grace and peace be with you. Hey, this is Donnie the Tree Lady, owner of Don's Tree Service. And as a small business owner, I get asked all the time, how did you do it? Now, for those of you that don't know, I basically started a tree service with $43 and a dream right here in beautiful Atlanta, Georgia. Now, during my journey, I've definitely been blessed to see the mountaintop, but I've also been in some rough valleys. And in my book, From Failure to Fabulous, I share my experience. My book really is a real woman's journey to building a happy, healthy, and successful life. But I gotta be honest with you, I read self-help books and I listened to audio programs about success and I was still having difficulty achieving success in my life until I really got a hold of certain principles that made a difference. In my book, From Failure to Fabulous, I get very real and raw about what I did to build my company, my family, and my life. So please go check out my book from Failure to Fabulous on Amazon, or you can go to my website, www.donnyjoneslive.com. Back to Donnie Jones Live. I am Donnie the Tree Lady with Marty McFly. Oh, one of the few times Donnie got me. This is a wonderful day. Yes, I am that guy, Marty McFly. And to answer your question, yes. Um, so, uh, anyway. Please tell me real quick. If we let y'all in on some inside stuff. Please tell me the producer was able to cut is able to cut what what I would have just said. I will I will I will pray that he, he can. I know that um, you know, um, ladies and gentlemen that are listening right now, there's a lot of things that are that goes on in between yeah. breaks yeah. that you know sometimes we can air, sometimes we can't. Yes. Every once in a while, we ain't airing that one. <laughs> every once in a while, there's some like, stuff the that's like wow, anyway. but. Anyway, Donnie, 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 yes. th this is a time that we have to kind of talk to our people about some entrepreneur yes. type situation. Yes. You know, things that go on in your business because yes. we all we all have different kind of businesses and we yes. all want our businesses to be successful. Yes. But with each one of them, you know, we have mm. our ups and our downs, our yes. valleys, you know, and yeah. our heels. But I guess one of the questions for you because you've had this successful tree company for years. Yeah. You know, and throughout the 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 course of your career you've had those valleys yeah. you've had those times where it's tough you know um but how have you been able to manage truthfully manage through and the through those um i guess troubled seasons well it's funny be when we were on break you used a term that stuck with me you know mm -hmm. well it's still it, it, i've heard you use it before but a lot of times whenever 
you know, we're having a challenge. Obviously, I own a tree service here in Atlanta, Georgia, Don's Tree Service. Mm -hmm. um, whenever there's storms outside, there's opportunity for us to do better. Oh, yes. There's mm -hmm. opportunity for us to make more money. There's opportunity for people to start thinking about our company because there's a need there because when there's a storm, trees fall or whatever. Right. And I think about that in my life and in my business because a lot of times when there's a storm, the last thing you want to be is outside. You know, the last mm -hmm. thing you want to do is get up and go. And mm -hmm. sometimes during the storm, even if you can't necessarily go outside, that's a good time for you to be working on yourself. That's a good yeah. time for you to be working on your business. So for me, um, going through the storm challenges, uh, issues in business, things that are challenging, things that are upsetting for me, it's a good time for me to step back and reevaluate what I'm doing, see what I'm doing right, see what I'm doing mm -hmm. wrong, see some things that maybe I don't even realize I could be doing better so that I don't wind up in the same position again. Mm -hmm. So I think part of it is using that season to reevaluate. Now, that doesn't mean that during that season, I don't have days where I'm like, Whew, oh, Lord. Lord, what am I going to do? And I think that's part of it, though. But I mm -hmm. I, I do listen to a lot of the motivational people and, 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 and you know, and people that, you know, have, are visionaries and leaders. And they talk about how you have to keep a good attitude through your ups and downs. And you have to, you know, forge on and, and, and you know, fight the good fight. But there are days as a business owner where you do go, what? am I doing? Yeah. You know, how did I wind up in this situation again? Or how did I wind up? Maybe it's not even again. How did I wind up in a situation this bad? But I truly believe that whatever situation that you wind up in is there's a blessing in it. Oh yeah. And so for me, I've had to step back and go, okay, what is the blessing in this? It's either going to be a blessing or it's going to be a lesson, mm -hmm. you know? And so that's what I've had to do in this season is, you know, because in, in the tree care industry, we can either be really, really busy in the winter right. or we can slow down, you mm -hmm. know. And then for us, we've done a lot of commercial work um, over the last few months. And a lot of a lot of times with commercial work, they don't always pay immediately. Uh, right. They, there's a little bit of a, that's, a lag. You know, that's that's, that's a one lag. thing that um, we, I love and don't like about, cor you know, corporate yeah. checks, you know, because yeah. it takes 30 <laughs> days for them to come in. And people that don't done the work is like, well, well yeah, exactly. You still got to pay them. So you still got to pay them. You said something that um, I wanted to piggyback on that I'm trying to remember what it was yeah. now. You know how, how you have a thought yeah, and it kind of goes goes in and out. But um, you said something about patterns, you know, yeah. about, of course, going through the, the patterns um, and knowing that the industry kind of goes yeah, through patterns goes and through stuff patterns, like that. Yeah. That's what I wanted to say. Um, there is a great book that I think I've said before on the show, um, Who Moved My Cheese? Yes. Who Moved My Cheese is a very powerful um, book that talks about you know in a sense your industry your business yeah, your and business. in the at the at the time when you know it's about these rats that are sitting around a big block of cheese yeah and when they realize that the cheese is not always going to be there mm -hmm. you have one rat that sits there and just cries yeah woe was me woe was me woe yeah. was me one that would try to venture out a little bit and come back yeah. but just wanted to always be there yeah. And you have another one that puts on his shoes and runs looking for mm. another cheese. Another piece, know, of cheese, piece of cheese, yeah. You know, and in that in a same scenario in our life, in our businesses, we got to always be prepared to look yeah. for the other cheese. Yeah. You yeah. know, and not get settled at, okay, well, right now, yes, it's it's raining. Yeah. You know, yes, it's, it's and yes, during the storms, you know, a lot of times those are those opportunities. That's right. You know, That's right. the, the rain changes the atmosphere. Yeah. Um, you know, it was funny. I was talking to the producers earlier before we started, and they were kind of discussing about, you know, a lot of times it's always raining when yeah. we're coming out here. Yeah. And, you know, we were saying that sometimes that rain actually clears the it, the, the mm, atmosphere, clears yes. the trees, and it, it makes things look a little bit differently. Yeah. You know, and, and even though it might be the same tree or the same leaf, 
with it being wet and moist, it looks different. It looks different, you know? yeah. And some of those same clients that are out there, well, now the atmosphere is a little bit different. Yeah. Maybe they're different, too. Yeah. Well, Maybe that, I can knock on that door now. And that's what happens. A lot of times people, um, and once again, guys, the, 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 the advice that we give or the information we give, if you want to take it as advice, is things that we're dealing with, with ourselves, but they're hopefully practical things that you could use in your business. And also, if it is something that you can use in your life and your business, give us a call because we do like the feedback, one 888 349 Donnie, one 888 donnie Also, when this gets uploaded to YouTube, yes. we want you to uh, comment on it, you know? Yes, um, like, share, and subscribe, like, share too. And subscribe. We've got a lot of comments on that, um, the one we did with um, Wanda Smith. So you can always go back and look at oh, some yes. of our other and, videos. <laughs> cool, but, I gotta say how to yeah, yeah, yeah. But going back to that, it's like... You, you you have these seasons and you look at things a little bit differently, but you got to realize your customers do too. So just because they said no in one season doesn't mean they'll say yes in, in this season. doesn't right. mean that they won't say yes in this season. And keep that's exactly, on the door. you keep knocking on those doors. You keep making those phone calls. And I think whenever there's challenges, mm -hmm. you start thinking, well, the stuff I'm doing isn't working. It is working. Yes. Sometimes we don't understand that those 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 hard things that we do or the mundane things, because sometimes it's not the hard things. It's the right. mundane, everyday things. things. It's when you're doing the follow up calls, but you're not really booking right. a bunch you of know, appointments. Successful people, their their thing is their habits. Yeah. They're doing the same thing every habits, day. Rituals and know. routines. Right. They do that. That same thing every day. It's not major stuff, but yeah. it's like just the small things every day. Every day. You know, even if it's just posting. If yeah. it's just, you know, um, I'm singing out your prayers or whatever you need to do every day for your business, yes. the, ca the calls. Yeah. You have to do that every day and That's a commitment. Right. You know, if you look at, you know, I, I, I've been watching, you know, on TikTok, different things come up or whatever. And every once in a while, it has a, a thing about a Kobe, Kobe Bryant, yeah. you know, and his work ethic. Yes. About he wanted to be the best. So he was always in the gym, mm -hmm. even in the off season. He was in the gym working out. You know, I'm um, early in the morning, the first one at practice, the last one to leave. Yeah. Because I want to be the best. Yeah. You know, and if you apply that to your industry, to your business, saying, okay, I want to be the best. Right. So why don't I get up early in the morning? Yeah. Start on my business. That's right. You know, what can what, I do to improve it? What can, what I, can I, do? I do to improve it? But also going back to them base, basics, basics, a lot of times we do need to improve. We do need to yes. upgrade. But we don't even do simple stuff like, did you follow up on your calls That's right. from yes. the previous week? Right. Have you reached out to the customers that you already have to stimulate mu new business. Mm -hmm. Like, for example, my goal is to always do at least a minimum of 25 calls a day. Right. You know, if I look back on our season, can I say that I did that every single day? No. Nope. But no. what happens when you start doing that consistently, you build your funnel. I'm talking to salespeople right now and business right. people. You start building a funnel of people that will start to pop like popcorn. And if you do that, even in the season, when you're not busy, you're building up. You're you planting. Know, you're planting. Oh, you're, you're planting, planting right a now. seed. Yep. And that's what we're doing right now. We're planting, planting seeds. seeds. We want to be a value right. to you. And if this is a value to you, once again, give us a call. 1-888-349-DONNIE. That's 1-888-349-3664 because we do like to hear from you. And then if you're on YouTube, put a little comment up uh, uh, up there and then like, share, yep. and subscribe. Yep, so, yep, 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 yep. You know. So, so um, <clears throat> with that, I almost got choked up. Um, what else? Cry. What else can you say? Um in the season, what else can you do to uh, prepare yourself, I guess, or do, doing the... I'm going to just be factual, you know, because I know we talk a lot of, uh, try to talk about things that are general, uh -huh. things that are general, but for any business person out there, or it doesn't have to be business, any person, save some money. Oh, yeah. Like right now in this season, <clears throat> people are talking, they say the the percentage of people saving right now is minuscule like the the percent of money that they're saving save. and right now if you can save and invest whenever because the crash is coming uh, like something is coming the that does not look coming. really like something <laughs> that does not look great is coming that's and my you'll be able life. to buy assets for for nickels on the dime uh, nickels on oh, the yeah. dollar like like 10 cents on a dollar you'll be able to buy things that are of value because people are going to go through some challenging times. But if you don't have the resources yeah. to buy, you won't be in position. So right now, put yourself into pos to be in position 
to mm-hmm. take advantage of what's coming. And if investing is is not something you're ready to do, then just put yourself financially in position where you've got at least three to six months of savings for a rainy mm-hmm. day. And I'm telling a lot of the stuff we talk about, we're talking to ourselves too. So these ain't because jokes. we have to we have to maintain also. Yeah. Yeah. We have businesses to run also. So if you ask me specifically what people could be doing, setting money aside. Yeah. And working on your credit. You know, Set they, money they, aside they, and work they on your say credit. Poor people, <clears throat> excuse me, poor people get money to pay bills. They say um, um, middle class get money to get credit. Mm-hmm. Rich people get money to make money. Mm, you know, that's they good take stuff. their money and they invest it so it'll make money for that's them. That's right. You know? And another thing, right before, because we're going to go to break real quick. Yep. I've mentioned a book before, The Science of Getting Rich. I will pr- I will probably start mentioning that book every single show because I do want people to get a hold of that book, The Science of Getting Rich and Thinking Grow Rich. But we're going to take a quick break. I am Donnie the Tree Lady. And I am that guy, Marty McFly. You know, you sent me a good little text the other week yeah. about a podcast or something about you know doing your own thing but we'll talk about that talk about that on the other side because i yeah. think it'll be time to take a break yeah it's time <laughs> all right all right we'll be right back now when the weather starts to change the rent to start to fall who you gonna call Don Street Service. It's looking kind of weak and it's looking kind of bleak for a tree specialist call. Don Street Service. If the trees in your yard are just too tall. Who you gonna call? Don Street Service. Hey everybody, it's me, Wanda Smith, and I'm here with some great information. I don't know if you know, but it's hurricane season, and it's a great time for you to think about having trees removed before one fall on your home. That's something you don't want to happen. Listen, I call Don's Tree Service. On a Monday, they were here in just a few days. The price was right, the staff was right, and I'm happy with everything they've done. So, hey, if I were you, I would sit down with my family and talk about having trees removed before the hurricane comes and hit your home. If you want more information about your trees, call Don's Tree Service, 770-413-8733. That's 770-413-TREE. You know, one of the things that frustrates me to no end is when I call a company and as soon as it picks up, it says, please hold. And your approximate hold time is four to five to ten minutes. It frustrates me because I need some help. But then I was wondering about when we get on our knees and pray, does the spiritual angel kind of picks up and says, I hear your prayer, but please hold for the operator. And it might take you four or five days or four or five months. But knowing that the operator will pick up and handle your problem. I think in those times, God is trying to tell us to just hold on for the blessing. Hi, I'm Pastor Marty Ringer, and I'd like to invite you to join us each and every Sunday morning at St. Mark Lutheran Church. Now, you might not be in the East Point or the Atlanta area, but you can always go online at stmarklutheranchurch.org and check out any of our services. I would love to just spread the good news of Christ to you. If you're here in the Atlanta area, our address is 4137 Washington Road in East Point, right down from the Atlanta airport. And if you're not around the ATL, you can always log on at stmarklutheranchurch.org. And there you can be a part of any of our worship services. But at the end of the day, I want to make sure that you understand this one message. God is trying to tell you to hold on until your blessing comes. And may God's grace and peace be with you. Hey, this is Donnie the Tree Lady, owner of Don's Tree Service. And as a small business owner, I get asked all the time, how did you do it? Now, for those of you that don't know, I basically started a tree service with $43 and a dream right here in beautiful Atlanta, Georgia. Now, during my journey, I've definitely been blessed to see the mountaintop, but I've also been in some rough valleys. And in my book, From Failure to Fabulous, I share my experience. My book really is a real woman's journey to building a happy, healthy, and successful life. But I gotta be honest with you. I read self-help books and I listened to audio programs about success and I was still having difficulty achieving success in my life until I really got a hold of certain principles that made a difference. In my book, From Failure to Fabulous, I get very real and raw about what I did to build my company, my family, and my life. 
So please go check out my book from Failure to Fabulous on Amazon, or you can go to my website, www.donnyjoneslive.com. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. I am Donnie, the tree lady. And I am that guy, Marty. Well, Marty Marty McFly, I gotta say it right. You know, Marty. Yes, Marty McFly. Yay, those storms are just moving in. I love it. That is just awesome. You are evil. Even though I, I appreciate it, but that, that's, uh, you know, when you, when you, when you actually rejoice at somebody else's downfall, that just, it, it's sad, but I know what you do. I'm saying, so I understand. I'm not I'm saying, rejoicing at my downfall. That's, that's your, your downfall. I mean, not, I don't have a downfall, I guess, but. I guess, you know, it's like a, a mortician, you know, they get excited when people pass, you know, because it's more yeah, business Oh, I see what you're saying. You no, know. I don't like people's trees to fall on their house. No. I want them to fall on the ground. But, you know, but I guess so. that's the business. I'm saying a mechanic kind of gets happy when somebody's car breaks down. Yeah, that kind of It's thing. like, yay, yeah, happy. That kind of thing. Not really happy for you, but yeah. <laughs> I need I need to check. Yeah. You know, so I could see that. But anyway, Donnie. Well, as a segue, what I was going to say. Okay. I was going to ask you, you know, we do talk about the practical aspects of surviving a storm or going through the storm Uh or benefiting from our storms in life. But I also think there's a spiritual aspect to that, you know. Oh, see, he's about to make me cuss. And so, why was I going to make you cuss? Because I I wasn't prepared today. Yes, you are. You're always, you're a pastor. So, I was saying, you know, a lot of times whenever I'd have my challenges, I reach out to you. Yeah. And you'll, you know, say these profound things or you'll have an analogy that really works, you know, for whatever Uh season that I'm calling you about. Even if it's something really great, you have this great analogy. So I would say over the last couple of months, you know, when you're going through your challenges, your ups and downs, trucks running, trucks not running, whatever, customers paying, not paying, whatever. I just was like, oh my gosh, he needs to take those analogies and put them in a book, you know? And you need to, you know, publish that book. But what I wanted you to do Uh is focusing back on the storm. Some of the, just maybe you can help the people with some some of the analogies that you've shared with me that was so encouraging. I don't, I don't, I don't remember them actually. I'm saying, and and I'm not trying to be funny. Here's the thing. It's not like with me and you talk, I don't have a book that I'm writing stuff down. It's like, oh, that's a good one. I'm going to keep that. Oh, well, you know, let me try this one on Donnie. You know, if I use these <laughs> words, then that's going to be, you know, I'm going to write that one down. You know, and, and usually it's it's a time that me and you just kind of talk. And in, in that moment, it's like, you know, Donnie, this you, is what. Marty, you do know this is our job, right? We're supposed to have content. I, no, 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 no. I'm saying <laughs> just like this the, to to. To start off what you were saying earlier, as a pastor, to a certain degree, yeah. I'm always kind of prepared with... Yeah, you're always if prepared. Me and you are, or if me and you're talking one-on-one, and it's a real situation yes. of life. Yeah. You know, I can talk yeah, about that. Yeah, you just be flowing, then, man. You know, when it's like, well, you know, here's a spiritual moment. Yeah. Give it to us. Yeah. You know, okay, okay, just, well, let's, let's I, say. I, I just, We're going to act just real quick, guys. We got yeah. this. We've never done this on camera before. <laughs> hey, Marty. Ring, ring. Hello. Hey, Marty. How are you doing? Who's this? It's a... It's Donnie. I know oh, I probably don't sound like myself because I'm a little down right now. Okay, you know, now we go. Got, no, no, this, this, uh, it ain't making me down. feel good. Stop, stop. And I don't, stop, stop. I don't know what to do. What should I do? No, I feel that, so. That, that don't. Okay, that that don't so. feel right. Stop. Okay. You just uh, uh, <laughs> trying to use a baby voice and everything. Like no, that don't. No, no, okay. that don't. I, what kind of uh, voice do I use when let, I call let's, you? Let, let's, let's not. <laughs> My wife might be listening. Um, okay. What? Here's the thing. Here's the thing. You know, we were talking about. Was, that was my depressed voice. That didn't sound no, depressed. No, I know you're depressed. That ain't your depressed voice. Your depressed voice starts with a laugh. Oh, you know? yeah, that is so true. Oh my God. You know? Okay. But anyway, that anyway, anyway, people that are listening, here's here's a quick thing. Okay. okay. This week, one of the things that we water. are, one of the things that we're talking about in my church this weekend is about this this famous conversation between Jesus and a guy named Nicodemus. All right. Nicodemus was, was a guy, guy who came, who was like a Pharisee that came to Jesus and, you know, was like, I know what I've heard about you, you doing yeah. all these miracles or whatever, whatever. He's like, how could somebody be like that? And then Jesus says this thing about that everybody hears, you need to be born again. Yeah. And he's like, well, how can a man be born again if he's old or whatever? Right. You know, and he's like, you got to be born again with your spirit and, and by water and spirit yeah. and stuff like that. But I want <clears throat> to put this to us as individuals in our business too. Okay. You know, sometimes our businesses are going through that slump. 
Yes. And sometimes during that slump, it's time for us to reevaluate ourselves. And sometimes it's time for us to be born again in our industry. Mm. You know, born again in the way that we handle our business, the structure yeah. of it. Because yeah. right now, if it's in a dormant time, yeah. then it might be some time to change some yeah. things. You yeah. know, so it's always a time to reevaluate ourselves. Mm. And sometimes we as people in our companies, well, it's time to be born again. And what that kind of means is let's rethink the way that we've been doing business. Yes. How have we been treating our customers? Preach. You know, how have we been treating our neighbors in the biblical yes. aspect? How have we been treating ourselves? And how have we been thinking about, you know, because one thing is to act, but then how are we processing the right. act? You know, if a, if a client hasn't paid you in a week, do you call them and cuss them out? Yes. You know, or. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. You, know what I'm saying? you can. You can, but you realize that that is you no want longer the relationship. Yeah, they're no longer going to be your client, and everybody right. has their ups and downs. That's you right. Know? Yeah. Um. So it's it's a thing of evaluating yourself. Yeah. You know, and in a sense, I would say make sure that you're born again. You know, especially during the dormant times. That's right. You know, That's and right. sometimes in the positive side, you know, times too, because you can evaluate your even your salespeople, because yeah. you might have to evaluate your sales team and say, you know what. That spirit that that salesperson has, that's not, that's not what the company is representing, right. you know? So young man, you're going to be born again. Okay. Yes, you're going to have a new go. life tomorrow. <laughs> have a new life. <laughs> that's that connected with here, us. But you right. <laughs> you're going to be born again, you know? Right, right. And, you know, we have to do that too, yeah. you know, but at the same time, it's really with growth and it's, it's, it was, we were talking about a, um, one of our one of our friends that are is in the same kind of industry that we're in, yeah. who does podcasts and yeah. is on TV. And sometimes when you get that evaluation, yeah, and it's not a good evaluation, right. well, sometimes you might need to look at your show and say, yeah. well, you know what, it might need to be born again. That's ooh, you know, that's what so can I good. Do differently, yeah, to maybe engage people. Yeah, you know, like yeah. we 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 talk about this all the time. We've been doing this show for some years now. Yeah, and we do look look at our numbers and everything. And every once in a while, we say, well. Do we need to reevaluate yeah, some stuff? Yeah. Do we need to be out in the field more? Yeah. In the field more? Do we need to have more guests? But it's those things that we always try to evaluate. That's true. So we do that with our business. Yeah. Do that in your personal life too. That's right. And you in know? your business life. Yeah. Yeah, well, that's, that's what you mean that business. First. Okay, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. Listening yes. is a skill. Right. But but yes. so in a nutshell, um, be born again and not yeah. just, you know, thinking about it in the biblical yeah. aspect. You and do I think that. That's but. what people do. They when you think about being born again, you only people only think about it in the biblical aspect right. of it. Mm -hmm. And I I think for me, it's always come back to a renewing of the mind. Exactly. Be, be, like it just your mind, your body, your spirit. Because a lot of times when people are going through things, they're they're so focused on what they're going through. Yeah. They're not doing one of the main things that you have to do to attract what you want, which is to be grateful. Mm -hmm. You know, and sometimes people are like, well, you know, with everything I'm going through, how can I be grateful? Well, you always have something to be grateful for. Right. And I remember oh. once we were on the phone, right? And it started off as a joke. Like, I was uh -huh. like, well, you know, I'm grateful I got good customers. Well, you know, oh, I'm yeah. grateful I got my toes. Well, you know, <laughs> I'm grateful the sun is shining. You know, well, mm -hmm. and all of a sudden, when I started, I, then I just kept going. And it's like, I felt better. Right. You know? And literally within an hour, all of a sudden, you know, you know customers started doing what they were supposed I to be doing. I, and I was like, yay. This I remember good. one statement during that time. I said, don't get too busy that you're not successful. Ooh. You know. And, and that's yeah. a, a thought of, you know, realizing what you have and being grateful of the success of family and yeah. your daughter and everything. That that's right. Yeah. And it's like, just, just take that time to be yeah. thankful. Yeah. You know, just to be thankful. So, well, you know what I'm thankful for? What's that? I am thankful for the amazing people that listen to our show. Yes. I'm thankful for the people that comment on our show. I thank the people that help us do this show. Yes, I'm definitely <laughs> thankful for the people that help do us show, do our show. And actually, I want to give out a shout to Paramortal. Yes. Paramortal Studios. They do an incredible job. Yes. So if you guys have seen us up-level our visuals, yep. which we still want to do something with that background. That's just my opinion. Well, How are you going to hate I'm not hating. They actually did an incredible job. I'm just, I'm just weird like that. Yeah. So anyway, they did an incredible job. So if uh, you guys are in the Atlanta area, you guys should check them out. They have an incredible studio, yep. great equipment, great people to work with. And uh, yeah.
So I just want to give him a shout out. But seriously, man, I'm grateful for you, too. I am grateful for you. You know, and, and it's a blessing to be able to do what we do, do what we love. And what you guys may not realize, like he said, these are not jokes. We actually run businesses outside of this. So when you get advice from us, you're not getting advice from some people that are theoretically doing something. Oh, no. You are getting from people, advice from people that see customers every day. And got bill collectors to, every and, day. I'm going to hurt you, no, Marty. This is real, though. Marty, be nice. <laughs> So, you know, our, our goal is to be of service. Our goal is yes. to be a blessing. To be real. That's right. To be real, to be a blessing, to to spread love, kindness, and good information. And, wow. and hopefully that'll transmit over the air. Yep. You know. So right now we're going to transmit off the air because we got to go. <laughs> we so, do have to much go. Much love. You're listening to Donnie Jones Live with Donnie Jones and I am that guy, Marty McFly. And uh, see ya. See ya, see ya, see ya. Next week. Be blessed. It's Danny Jones Live, Danny Jones Live. It's Danny Jones Live, Danny Jones Live.